Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys. Welcome back to the channel. I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that'll encourage you to be your best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. Okay, so when I wore this bang wig in my 7 Easy Wig Hacks video part 2, y'all were so into it. Y'all like, where is this wig? Where can I find it? And I've been wearing it a lot more for this past month on Instagram, on TikTok, and y'all are just as obsessed as me. But the wig is discontinued. It's by Free Trust. They've told me that they're not bringing it back, so there's that. However, I've always had my eye on this other wig by Free Trust Equal called Ariana, and that's the wig that I'm going to showcase to you all today. I bought mine for like... $16 on wig types. You can find it at other wig stores. I am gonna include my affiliate link, which is on Amazon, and Amazon definitely prices this wig higher, so just keep that in mind. But if you want that free two-day shipping, check it out on Amazon. So I have this wig in the number one color because that was like the only one available for $16 at the time. It has this nice like fringe bang here. Now it has this type of closure, which I'm not always a fan of, but there are ways to make that look more natural with some powder. This is the inside of the cap here. You see that? And we do have adjustable straps, but no combs. I'm gonna go into voiceover mode and we're gonna talk through this wig together. So the first thing I noticed about this wig is that this is kind of a snug fit and I had the adjustable straps on, but then I took it off and just basically let loose with the adjustable straps and then it fit my head better. Mind you, I have a medium sized head, 22.3 circumference. So for me, this is not a wig for my big head girls, not at all. But as you can see, I'm brushing out the bangs here and I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna make this look how I want it to look. Right now, it looks a little humpy, so it's imperative that I go in with a blow dryer and flatten down the crown. This is the number one tip my beginners forget when they're wearing their wigs, especially their bang wigs. You wanna get rid of that hump out the pack. It just doesn't look good, it doesn't look natural. So once I do that, I'm brushing it out. I gotta say, this texture is divine. It's a beautiful light yakky texture. So here, I'm looking at the crown, I'm like, uh, I need to flatten it out a little bit more and just make it look more indented. So that's why I'm plucking hairs out of the crown. This tip is so important, y'all. So important because it creates more of an indent in the crown area versus the hump. And I just notice a big difference when I do this with my bang wigs that come with this type of closure. Just trust me on this. Pluck that hair out. You don't need that hair there whatsoever. Now a little added flair is when I put my powder in the crown area because I want to give the illusion that there's a scalp there. It's not like super foolproof up close, but I think it gives a good illusion from a distance. And that's pretty much it. Then I'm done with making this bang wig look natural. So y'all saw how I tried to make this wig look more natural. Overall... This is not my favorite, y'all. I don't really like this one. And it's hard because I'm gonna compare her to Free Trust equal Brisa. Once you have a wig with the construction of Brisa, other, all other bang wigs just pale in comparison, honestly. I'll say with the pros for this wig, the texture is an absolute pro. This is a beautiful, light, yakky texture. Like when I wear straight hair, that's not like kinky straight. This is the texture that I want it to be. It feels so nice, so smooth, so natural. Almost like a relaxer, but with a little bit more thickness, if that makes sense. I also really love light density, so this to me is like totally up my alley, and I love the light layers. Perfect. But the construction is what's really fucking with me right now. Like, I have a medium-sized head, so part of me is like, maybe if I had like a small head, like, 21 inches maybe this would fit me differently as far as how the bangs fall because that's my main gripe what i love about brisa is not only the construction of the wig but i love the way the bangs look and i don't like the way these bangs look on me they're not long enough like i just want them a smidgen longer past my eyebrow that's how i like to wear my bangs and it's not doing that and if i tried to tug this upward you're gonna move the crown upward and it's just gonna look awkward. Maybe this could work with someone with a smaller head. Because I saw this on Wigs and Wonderlust and it looked really good on her, but I know she has a smaller head. So I'm like, you know, definitely check out her video. I'll link it down below in case you wanna compare. And she also did a really bomb color. That's another thing. I don't normally do number ones at all, but again, I got it because it was cheap. I wonder if I would like this more if I got it in a color. What do y'all think? Let me know because this comes in some really pretty colors and there was a blonde that I really wanted, but it was not available for $16.99 at the time. And I was doing a little bulk order on wig types, but I was like, bump it. I'm just get the number one. But I'm wishing I got a color. 
Like, should I get this again in a color? But if I do that, I'm just gonna buy it from Amazon because they have the color I want available on there and I can get it very quickly. Ooh, this texture feels great, but I don't like the bangs. And that's the point of me wearing a bang wig. I have to like the bangs. So let me know how you feel in the comments if you've tried this wig. No, this is not replacing Freetress Brisa at all. But I think if you want something cute and quick, you can make this work. I showed y'all how I make it work, especially with me trying to like fake a little scalp up here with the powder. Very easy wig tip that I've been doing for years. But you know what, let me let me not leave this out. The bang wig that I really love outside of Brisa is a model model number 15. I reviewed that wig three years ago on my channel and that wig, once you hook it up, it looks bomb. I still have it, but I need to get new ones because the hair is kind of stiff right now and I don't feel like reviving it again. If you wanna see me bring number 15 and show you how I hooked that one up in 2022, let me know in the comments, I'll be happy to. I love that bang wig. Brisa and number 15 are like my go-to synthetic bang wigs. Anything else can kick rocks. <laughs> Unless you know a bang wig that I should try. I, I don't know y'all because I'm very picky. Like I don't like the super thick bangs and I don't like bangs with this type of closure. Like can we stop making bang wigs that don't have a lace closure? Can we please, in the year of the Lord, like can we stop doing that? Because it just makes it look so freaking wiggy. <sighs> All right, I'm done, y'all. Look, we back on track. I'm putting out two videos a week. I almost didn't even want to put this one out because talking about wigs I don't like feels like a waste of time to me, but I figured y'all would want to know, especially because so many of y'all wanted to know a replacement for Free Trust Brisa, and for me, this is not a replacement per se, but I think this would look cute on someone with a smaller head. If you have a bigger head, don't even bother. But if you got like 21, 21 and a half, I feel like you can make this work, especially with the tips I did in this video. Now, if you're new here, you like what you see, make sure you tap the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'm almost done with the Jamaica vlog. Remember y'all, I had to re-edit it all over again and I was so frustrated, hence why I keep putting it off, but it's almost done, almost done. It's coming up this coming week, so please turn those notifications on. And if you wanna see more videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I will see y'all in the next one, bye.